Hi YouTube, I'm back. I know it's been a little while and um, I've missed you. <laughs> sorry about being missing in action and sorry about my voice. A lot has been going on so I'll give you a quick update and I promise not to ramble too much. Um, so I hope you all had a wonderful summer vacation. Oh wait, wait, wait. I had a summer vacation. I hope you all had a wonderful summer. I had a wonderful vacation. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you want to see it, I, uh, school is back in session. So I am back to work and therefore my crafty time and YouTube watching time gets seriously affected. And although that's a real pain in my rear, you know, a girl's got to have a job. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyway, uh, hubby and I went away on vacation. We went to Europe for two weeks, and then when we got back, I had to go right back to work. So that's where I've been. When I got back from my vacation, actually the day we were flying home, I came down with a very, very horrible cold slash flu. I don't know what you guys want to call it. To the point that I got an ear infection and, you know, had to go to the doctor and I couldn't hear out of the left side of my head <laughs> because my ear was completely plugged up. So, and now that I'm back at school, <clears throat> I am not able to give my throat a break um, from speaking. So, now that you know what I've been up to, I'm trying to catch up and see what you guys have been up to. I haven't had a lot of crafty time, to be honest with you, but I did do a couple of things, which is what you're looking at right now, and I wanted to share those with you. At our school, um, I teach at a middle school, we have our students grouped in um, small learning communities, and our small learning communities, we call them teams, and we are named after universities in order to encourage and instill in our students the desire and the expectation that they are to go to a university to in, when they get to that point to continue their academic career. So I used my Cricut, yay! <laughs> I used my Cricut to do these letters here that I'm going to put up in my classroom and it says go Lions. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let me see. I used the doodle type cartridge on these. And these are the colors of the university that my students and myself are on. And that would be Loyola Marymount University, which lucky for me, I am an alumni. We try to choose universities that are local to us because we take our students on a field trip to the university um, during the school year. We take them once and, you know, try to show them what the whole college experience would be like. So that was one thing that I made. And I, I, I'm sure if you guys are followers of my chat, not followers, but subscribers, you've heard me complain about my cricket. It's very temperamental. So the fact that I can make something to put up on my walls in my classroom is a big deal for me. It's very exciting. And I, got, I was so excited that I offered to make these letters for the other teachers that are on my team. So I had to make a total of four sets of these. And my Cricut, you know, takes its sweet time and cuts pretty when it wants to and doesn't when it doesn't want to. So that was the first thing I wanted to share with you guys. The other thing is I watched a video by Christina Werner and she made a card using the Chubby Chum Pals stamp set by who? Crap. Sorry, oops. Um, I don't remember. I, again, maybe Lawn Fawn? Paper, paper Smooches. I think it's Paper Smooches. Yay! So I completely scrap lifted this from her. She made a super cute card. And I'm, I think it was this past week or so. Um, hers was obviously cuter than mine, but I immediately saved it to my favorites and decided to make this and I needed a belated birthday card for one of my coworkers. So this is using the Miss Caroline 
my mind's eye dilly dally paper collection. So everything that I used is from here. And I, I, I edged everything with the London Fog ink. Who makes that? Memento. And I used my colored pencils to color in this guy, cut him out, and put some googly eyes on him or her. And I heat embossed this on this, and I just pop dotted it. Use some twine from the twinery, some gray twine, and it is on a, I don't know if you guys can tell with the lighting, it's on a silver card base. Then on the inside, I use some other paper, sm paper smooches stamps to stamp the happy and the birthday, and I messed up right there. Okay, don't look at that. <laughs> and then I use some Cosmo Cricut tiny type stickers there to, to type out, to type out. Oh my gosh, to write out belated. I'm sorry, you guys. It's been a while, and I obviously am no good at making videos. But you guys, you guys are doing awesome. Keep up the good work on those videos. Then, another one of my coworkers, unfortunately, lost, or not lost, but had to put down her pet. So I wanted to make a sorry for your loss card. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here's what I made. And this card, I used the other Miss Caroline collection, and this one is called Fiddlesticks um, by My Mind's Eye. Love the colors, very soft, and I just edged everything with Vintage Photo, and I cut this heart with my Nestability's um, scalloped heart. This is an MFT stamp that I used um, the Brown Sugar Jenny Bolin ink. And then these two are, I used punches for these. I think they're both Recollections punches and put a little pearl there. Use some more twine. This is Martha Stewart twine. And then on the inside of this one, I stamped, and then after the fact, I realized, oh, that probably wasn't the best paper to choose to stamp the the sentiment on, but it says, so sorry for the loss of your beloved pet. This is an MFT um, die that I used to cut this out, and I put two little basic gray, no, not basic gray, Prima, Prima Pearls on there. So I will be... Both of these are for coworkers, and I'll be sharing these with my coworkers or giving it to them tomorrow. <clears throat> One more thing I wanted to share with you before I head out. Give me a second. I have been battling with my Spellbinders storage. And prior to, I hope you guys could hear that, my Spellbinder storage. And I hated how I had them because I had them in the original packaging and <clears throat> it just wasn't working. So I'm sorry that I don't remember who I saw on here on YouTube, but I did see somebody on YouTube buy one of these. Let me see if I can back this up a little bit. They bought one of these cheapo, cheapo, inexpensive, sorry, inexpensive, well-priced photo albums from Walmart. And these are, this one is five by seven. And so all I did was I, um, so let me show you. On the inside, this is the original cover, this black and white. So I just flipped it over, so no need to be wasteful. And I sprayed it with some Lindy Stamp Gang back here. And then I cut this, this is from a six by six pad. I cut this down and then this is from the same paper collection. Um, I don't I don't have it in front of me right now, so I'm not sure what it's called, but if you are interested in knowing, just message me and I will look it up for you, no problem. And then these foam letters, I used one of my dies. It's an MFT die, this one, and I just ran it through my Big Shot with some foam. And voila, I made my own little title. So on the inside, I just bought these pages of these magnetic sheets from also from Walmart. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think they're in the kids section. 
and they slide out real easily. Of course, it's not gonna slide out easily right now because I've got a camera on it, but they slide out easily and I love it. It's so easy, it's so compact. All I did was I punched out with my, whoa, sorry for the glare, with my label punch from the actual packaging. I just punched it out and glued it to the outside of each of these so that I know which label it is that I have and I tried to put them in the order of that I have them. So for now this is working for me and if I happen to outgrow this then I will you know look into that art bin thingamajig that sorry you know I don't sound very intelligent <laughs> I'm sorry. That art bin magnetic case that is made specifically for the spellbinders or the the dies. But for now, this is working. And um, if you've been looking for something to organize your dies with, your thin wafer dies, I highly recommend this. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing well. I look forward to keeping you guys updated. And I'm sorry I've been a little bit missing in action, but like I said, this whole work thing gets in the way. I will chat with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.